Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. If you guys are new, welcome. Today we are gonna be doing a money slash prosperity spell. Basically it's a money spell. And this is another jar spell, so it's really easy. It's something that you can just keep in your room and you know, hold that intention. If you are looking to earn some extra cash and you wanna put the energies out there in the universe, obviously you're gonna to have to work for it with any sort of manifesting law of attraction, spell work, any of that part of the equation is to put the work in and actually do something about it but this just basically helps to amplify those energies and really help to manifest these things into your life so I'm really excited to do this I feel like I could use some extra cash myself so let's get into it I'm gonna show you what you'll need for the spell and I say need in quotations because any sort of spell work guys it is all about the intention so don't panic don't worry if you don't have all the things that I'm about to list off basically I made a list of things based on you know correspondences you'll find these in many different witch books and based on you know my personal beliefs and what something means to me and you know that's the most important thing yes there's those correspondences that really you know help to outline things in witchcraft for you but these correspondences are often based on like one specific culture whereas like correspondences are gonna be different depending on what culture, what part of the world you're coming from, plus your own personal beliefs. So if, for example, like there's cinnamon in the spell, if cinnamon doesn't mean prosperity to you, but some other random herb does, then use that. It's all that matters is your intention. So when you are putting together a spell, or if you're going to use this spell, make sure you're choosing things that mean something to you. And you know, when you are putting something together, why are you doing it? Why are you including this ingredient? Why are you including that ingredient? Like understand why you're doing it because if you're just throwing things together because someone says, oh, cinnamon does this and this does this and you're just like, okay, this is gonna bring me money. That's not how it works. It's really the intention and the love and you know, your own magic that you put into a spell. Yeah, we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you everything that I'm gonna be including in my money jar spell, but you can again change it based on what you want to do. And then I'll get into basically how you do the spell. The first thing you're gonna need, which you need for every single spell, is something to cleanse your space. Now, if you've seen my other spell work videos, you'll know that I personally like to clear with sound, but use whatever works for you. If you are using Palo Santo or Sage, though, make sure you are getting it from a sustainable source because I know there are sources that aren't the best for that, so make sure to do your research. But yeah, obviously we're gonna need something to clear our space. We wanna clear out any sort of negative energies. We only want good, positive, high vibrational energies around us. And it's just a good way to protect yourself when you do a spell. Also, casting a circle is very helpful. I keep meaning to make a video on that. I don't know, I, I haven't decided exactly how I wanna go about doing that video, so I'll figure it out. But in the meantime, go watch another video about casting a circle if you don't know how to do that. So the next thing you're gonna need for this spell is a green candle. Now green candles are often used for money, prosperity type spells. Green itself is associated with prosperity, but again, this is an example of why um, these things can be different in different cultures, because, you know, green is often associated with money in, you know, North America, but not all countries have green money, right? So this is something that may work for you, but if you're in a different part of the world, maybe it doesn't, and you maybe you want to use white for money, or maybe you want to use red for money in some countries. Red is associated with prosperity, so use whatever works for you. Along with this, you're going to want something to put the candle on, something that's very, you know, fire safe, protective. You don't want to have any fire accidents, so make sure you do that. The other thing you're going to need for this spell, unless you want to keep the candle going the entire time, I want to preserve this candle and like only use like maybe half of it or part of it. So I actually got a candle snuffer. I recently just like I literally just got this not too long ago so I'm going to be using it for the very first time. Previous spells I just let my candle completely burn because I didn't want to blow it out. In some spell work you don't want to blow out the candle just because it kind of like un does the spell in a sense. Um, it depends. If it's a banishing spell, then blowing out the candle makes sense. But if it's like, I'm literally lighting this candle for prosperity, I don't want to blow it out. 
or in certain circumstances just from like research and stuff I know that like if you're working with deities and stuff like gods goddesses you don't want to blow up the candle because it's actually disrespectful it can get you into some trouble so that is one thing I am not going to be doing any deity work on my channel anytime soon so if you guys are curious about that please go seek someone who's more experienced than me I am a baby witch I am just you know showing my journey as a baby witch and I'm gonna be doing basic spells obviously until I get more experience and I learn more and I feel more comfortable because deities are not something that you just want to hop into anyways I kind of went on a little tangent there but just so you guys know I got a candle snuffer because I want to put the candle out but I don't want to blow it out and this is actually you can get these at your local spiritual shop unfortunately mine didn't have them in they were having trouble getting them in and I did want it for this spell so I ended up getting it on Amazon I'll leave the link in the description box below by the way any affiliate links down there means that I get a small commission if you do purchase through that link it doesn't cost you guys any extra money whatsoever it's just a small portion of the money that normally would go to Amazon goes to me so if you guys do want to support my channel I really really would appreciate it if you chose the links below if you are gonna buy anyways but I got the rose gold one I think they had a gold and they had a silver one too I can't remember if there was any other colors but it's really really pretty it's so cute obviously you're gonna need something to light your candle so I have some matches this is a jar spell so you're gonna need a jar I just have this jar that I recycled it was originally pasta sauce and I just cleaned off the label washed the jar and I'm reusing it so highly recommend doing that if you are buying food products that come in a jar you might as well you know rinse them and recycle and reuse them that kind of thing so I'm also gonna actually put money in this jar now I got some money for Christmas so I'm gonna be using that cash but I also have a coin that I'm gonna put in there you can put whatever you want you don't have to put cash you can just put coins if you want it honestly just depends on you I personally am trying to save money right now and I don't intend to spend this cash right away so like I'm keeping this money in my room I'm not spending it right now I might as well do something productive with it you can honestly Honestly, put any sort of trinket that means prosperity or money to you so I have this little angel coin thing that says prosperity on the other side of it there's one side has an angel the other side has prosperity on it I am gonna be using this for part of my spell I just thought it was like a cute little thing to add into the jar as well as other little you know crystals and stuff so I also have citrine and aventurine both are really good for prosperity and I also put some just clear quartz in there as well because clear quartz is just really good for I find amplifying the energies of other crystals and also just you know amplifying the energy of the spell as well again use whatever speaks to you as far as herbs go I have cinnamon cinnamon is one of the most common herbs used in prosperity spells but I also have allspice also a really good prosperity spell herb and I have something that's a little bit different that you normally don't see in a prosperity spell but it means something to me so this is just an example of you know improving and doing whatever works for you so I'm actually gonna be adding rosebuds now rosebuds are really good for love spells self love spells that kind of thing now for me personally why I'm adding rosebuds is because I have some money mindset issues that I need to get past sometimes I feel like I don't deserve to have a lot of money or I can't have a lot of money oftentimes there's beliefs and mindsets that are passed down generations that you don't think you can have this kind of abundance in your life you don't think you're ever gonna be able to achieve that there's a weird relationship between me and money you know I have a habit of saying things like oh I'm broke or I can't afford that and I need to get out of the habit of doing that because that's not gonna help me manifest money and I'm definitely working on that and there's a lot of money mindsets that I need to personally work on so for for me those rosebuds mean you know respecting and loving myself and knowing that I am worthy of the abundance and you know making my dreams come true and I am worthy of money basically I am worthy of money I love myself enough to know that I am worthy of money and it's just kind of like trying adding I feel like adding a little bit of love in there is just really good for amplifying you know that relationship with money and prosperity and then last but not least I'm gonna be adding peppermint peppermint oil is another one of those ingredients that is associated 
with prosperity. Now I'm also going to be including something that's very personal um, and it's basically me writing out on a piece of paper what prosperity means for me and what I want to manifest and basically you're going to roll that up or fold it up and put it in the jar. Now this is something that's going to be very personal to you. So what does prosperity mean to you? What do you want to manifest? How much money do you want to manifest? Why do you want to manifest it? What are you going to do with the money? What do you want in your life? Like these are the things that you want to write down and really really write it down with that feeling because it's that feeling and that intention that's going to help bring about more money and prosperity into your life so i'll leave that part up to you guys but obviously you'll need a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil and then finally i have this little check basically it's like a check to the universe and it's actually from the book the magic i don't know if you guys have read the magic it's all about you know manifestation law of attraction that kind of thing which i still i believe it does work and I believe you know the law of attraction is part of the universe and I mean it's a little bit more complex than that but I, I think sometimes people get lost in that oh it's just magic and they don't actually do anything about their dreams and I think you have to put the work in too like it doesn't work that way like the universe will give you opportunities but you got to take the opportunities you got to take action anyways I'm getting off track the magic they have a page in here that's actually about writing a check to the universe you can basically photocopy this and then you can write on it how much money you want from the universe anyways if you guys want to do that too you can do that I'll leave a link in the description box below for this book if you do want to read it it's really cool it's a 28 day thing I'm actually gonna do it again I've done it once and I think it's just a good time for me to you know really get into law of attraction and manifestation again especially since I'm doing this spell so I'm gonna get back into it but that's basically where I got this check if you're wondering so I am gonna write down how much money I'd like to manifest into my life on this check and I'm gonna put that in the jar as well it's a lot of stuff you don't necessarily again have to use all the things that I suggest in this video but there's lots of different options for you I also wanted to mention and I always forget to say this in videos but a good time to be doing this spell would be during a full moon obviously you can do spells anytime you want because it, again it is your intention but if you do want to align with the moon phases a full moon is a really good time for you know abundance and manifesting and that kind of thing so I highly recommend trying to do this on a full moon if you'd like I get my information from this book most witchcraft books will have a little bit on moon phases and you know spell work but I do really like the moon magic book because it helps you really know you know what moon phases are good for what and it goes into great detail and it talks about crystals and it talks about herbs and a whole bunch of different things so if you guys are interested in this book I'll put the link in the description box below for you as well but a very helpful book for knowing you know what the best time is to do these kind of spells so yeah anyways guys without any further ado we're gonna get right into how I do this money spell Thank you. 